put me in the ground. You arrived without a sound. Are you a scald? I've never heard poetry shouted in this way. A scald? Oh no, not at all. I am truly looking for honor and have become lost as a result. You're looking for honor here? It's a bit remote. I am the seventh son of a seventh son. I am expected to bring great honor to my family. But everything has been done. My uncles and brothers have all had great victories, or even greater deaths. There's nothing left for me to do. The gods have been deaf to my pleas, but you are here. So you want a great victory from me? Or a great death? No! I want to live, and I could not possibly hope to win against you. That is true. But maybe you could lead me to a victory. I can tell by looking at you, you are not a great warrior. You know it too. There's no reason to deny this. I could bring you a chance at honor. An animal of some kind. Something you could handle. Yes, yes. That could work. I could add a few details. Nothing too exaggerated. Skulls do it all the time. So now you're a skull. Do not go anywhere. I will only do this once. I will be here. On my honor. Now, win your honor. They are much better than close. I do not think I can do this. I do not think I can do this. Come, Maland. Honor calls. You will feed the crow. <laughs> You got a few stabs in. How was your first kill? Gods! I have never felt so alive! My Hooger soars on raven's wings! With this rebirth comes a new name. From this day, you will be called Erland Wolfwhip, Killer of Curs. Oh, it suits me. You know, now that I think about it, I think my story should be told in verse. Farewell, beast beta. Erland Wolfwit, hear my name and no fear. Run and hide amongst the trees and thickets, wolves. Erland Wolfwit comes your way. Wait, was that a wolf howling? 